Greetings, Daddy English here from Benevolent International UK and the Reggae in the City podcast. Right now you're checking out TV Sound System. Make sure you subscribe. Bless. TV Sound System, we are here live and direct. It's what everybody has been talking about since the beginning of the year. It's been the big one. Select Hype, I'm here. It's a mad one. I told the people themselves. By hook or crook, we're gonna link up with a selector. No other than the man himself, Kingpin from King Addis. They are live and direct inside the UK. They're about to go on stage and rip it. We'll probably talk to them a little bit later on after the event, but it's early. It's cold inside the UK right now. So we have to greet the man himself, Nick. So live and direct, we got no but no other than the man himself. Boom! Wow! I got King Pink King of King Addis. Yeah, man. Welcome to the UK. A couple of times you've been here now. Yeah, um, how are you feeling the vibes since you dropped? I mean, I'm bored this morning, so the vibes is all right, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Just reaching the place and just holding the vibes. Huh? You've been such a major figure inside the whole terminology of King Addis right now. Yeah. I don't want to go too deep because we're, we're not in the right environment right now. Yeah, yeah. So it's just an enjoyment team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one question that I always wanted to ask you, in terms of playing a bad sound like King Addis yeah. and then being able to travel the world, when you have a bad sound like Addis, they're always going to want the anthems. And you could literally spend half of your career Living. Touring around the world, just playing the anthems. Yeah. What gives you the vibe to say, you know what? Addis is not just about the anthems. It's about the sound system. It's about the history. And it's also about what you can bring to the table. Yeah. How do you go to these different countries and deal with the wiki? Um, remember, all of these anthems that we had from back in the day, they were new tunes at one point. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep it going. That's what Addis is about. That's what Father Heat and the owner of Addis he wants for the sound, he wants to keep playing new tunes and keep building more anthems so that the sound can live forever and ever. So, and I mean, that's what we do, we just keep on finding new, new songs that, and eventually they turn into anthems, want to keep playing over and over. So, anthem is. Yeah, man, trust me. And another question 2021 was a little bit of a mad thing for everybody. Lockdown, COVID, etc., etc., was taking place. Mm. If you had a perfect 2020 yeah. for King Addis, we're at the start of 2020 right now. 2020 or 2022? Oh, 22. Oh, 22. So yeah, we're at the. Tw yeah, we're in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. Okay. So the start of 2022. Yeah. And you're looking for the year, the perfect year for King Addis. What would you like to achieve? Um, about 10 clashes. About. Only for tours. We supposed to tour. Last year we were supposed to tour Africa, Japan, Europe, and the, and the Caribbean, but it never worked out because of COVID. But this year I would love that to happen. All of those tours are some clash. Wow. Yeah. Do you think that's a, do you think that is achievable? Of course. I mean, once COVID is allows, you know, once the government allows, of course. Okay. Cool. Another thing we're gonna touch on versus. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's not get it twisted, man. Yo, Versus was a it, movie. It, it's crazy that I'm in England and you're telling me about Versus. Oh, it's crazy. Versus it's crazy. was absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, one thing what was so good about Versus is if the people that know about Versus is the way how Aggies really put out the verses to the people them. Mm -hmm. We saw the backstage footage, yeah, yeah, we saw yeah. the onstage thing, yeah, we saw yeah. the vibe. How was it for you? I mean, again, as King Aggies, yeah. it's like a twisted, yeah. but to be on a platform like that, yeah. nerves? Or how was it? Cause again, he was going against Lion um, I mean, like, how was it for you? I wasn't nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say, like, I'm kind of used to the, that kind of atmosphere. Still, but it's like playing in Wembley Stadium for y'all, I would say. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Barclays, it was Barclays is a big stadium. Mm -hmm. um, seeing all the people and hearing the response, it was amazing. Still, and I mean, crazy. Big up to Chrissy, because Chrissy the PR, yeah. she was giving y'all the backstage stuff because she was there. Yeah. And I mean, with the artists, it was a whole bunch of artists, a whole bunch of people. And I mean, a lot of people were there. It's crazy. Well, you know what? I'm not going to keep it too long. Yeah. I'm going to just end it off. And hopefully, depending on how long you're going to be here, yeah, we can link up again and have I'm a different kind of interview we are, and we sit are. down. The one thing I want to try and give is the youth yeah. out there, the younger generation, the young sounds that are coming out and yeah. 
they, 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 they looking that same achievement. They want to be on the King Addy stage. They want to be clashing Kingpin yeah. musically. Yeah. They want to be touring the world. They want to have a sound system that market themselves and put themselves out there like that. In the position that you're in right now, as one of the top solo selectors in the world, yeah. who everybody's looking at right now. A little bit of advice for the younger, younger generations them, and, and those who are coming through. Um, like I was telling one of my brethren today, you just gotta keep practicing, keep working, man. It, it, that's all it's about, yo. When I just first joined Addy Sound, it was hard work, hard work. You just gotta keep practicing every day. That's it. That's that's all it is. Keep practicing, keep working, keep doing dances. If nobody booking, you book yourself. Do a bet, do a party for yourself. That's how it is. That's what we do. That's what Addy's been doing from day one, and that's what we continue to do. When nobody used to book Addy's, we booked ourselves. We did our own clashes. We did our own parties. And eventually it turned out to be something like this. We on Barclay stage doing it big. That's what it is. People, the questions could go on and on and on. Yeah. The King Addies are here. And it's going to be a movie tonight. What can the people expect from King Addies? Holy <laughs> Paddock. I think that's it. It's a wrap in it. That's all we can say. Holy Paddock. So if you're not going to be here, we're going to give you a little bit of footage. But like I said, Kingpin, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, man, let's have respect every single time. Yeah, if you do not leave the country by the time I can see you. We're gonna have a sit down conversation. We're gonna have the, the real sit down yeah, King yeah, Addy's yeah, yeah, interview. Yeah. I'd really love that to happen, man, because there's so many Christians, <laughs> there's so many people them out there who are so intrigued with the way how somebody has been managed to be able to just captivate the world and been able to also manage such a big yeah, sound exactly. system when you had the fight, when you had the fuss, when the people them say you can't make it or I'm not ready and this yeah, yeah. and look at the position where you are right now. It is a story to tell yeah, yeah. and King Adi is my days. <laughs> best of the best. So TV sound system, keep it locked. If you don't make it happen, watch the footage. Yeah, if man. not, we say Kingpin, thank you, manners and respect every single time. Yeah? Yeah, okay then, enough respect.